deviations can occur in many parts of the nose. It can occur in the very front of the nose or the very back of the nose. It's my job to find the area that's blocked and make sure to remove any bony or cartilaginous obstructing portions of the septum. Usually the procedure is performed using an endoscope, using a minimally invasive technique to just isolate the one deviated portion of the septum, make sure that this obstruction is relieved, ensuring that the nasal lining is left intact and that there are no holes in the septum, which can lead to problems later down the road. Deviations in the front part of the nose are treated slightly differently from deviations in the back. These ones are usually treated with a scalpel incision and the cartilaginous portion of the septum is lifted off the bony nasal floor and moved to the midline, relieving the obstruction and these are secured in place with sutures. The procedure is a little bit more extensive, but the recovery time is similar to the minimally invasive septoplasty approach. So if you are suffering from a septal deviation, I encourage you to visit my website to find out more information and to call my office to schedule an appointment today and we could see you as soon as possible.